Hey guys! So today I wanted to share with you guys um, a bunch of my beauty favorites. Um, it's going to be both skincare and makeup and it's going to be mostly products that I've been using for like years. Like stuff that I really love, stuff that has stood the test of time. Let's jump in. I want to start with this serum. Okay. This is Tarlasu First Care Activating Serum EX. I've been using this for close to two years. Um, it's really lightweight. I put it on right after my essence. It's like very liquidy and um, I just feel like it gives me this like radiant glow. Like it hydrates my skin. I really love this. I've been using it for a long time. I, it feels like a really long time even though two years isn't that long but Next thing, another Sparwasu product. There's Sparwasu Overnight Vitalizing Mask for like any type of like party event. And if I'm like gonna go somewhere the next day and I want to be extra glowy and pretty and on point, I wear this at night. I have a bunch of different sleeping masks. I rotate them, but like this is like kind of like the special one that I like keep for special occasions mostly. Um, just cause like, I mean the bottle's huge and I forget how much it is, but Sparwasu in general is like a, you know, mid luxury brand. So, um, I, I'm sure it's not inexpensive. Um, but yeah, so I try to use this, you know, like for special occasions and stuff, but I love the way this makes my skin feel. It's so buttery. Um, I feel like when I wear this and then wake up the next day and you don't have to use a lot of it either like the tube is quite big so it comes with quite a lot but you also you, you know don't need to use much of it and you don't need to put like a thick heavy layer on your face I usually just do a thin layer all over and in the morning my skin is always like glowing um yeah so one of my big like things is sleeping masks and this one so far has been my favorite. Ooh, sheet masks. So, and everyone knows I'm a sheet mask junkie. And right now these are have my current favorite and my longtime favorite. So they're both from J. Jun Cosmetic. And this one is called Intensive Shining Mask. It's a three-step. It has a serum slash essence or whatever, the sheet mask, and then an eye cream. So it's three steps. And then this is just like a regular sheet mask. This is their pollution proof luminous mask in the brightening, um, brightening flavor. The brightening one is my favorite. It just, like I said, it leaves your skin really bright, really hydrated. The serum on this is like a little bit thicker and creamier than a lot of other um, sheet masks, which are more like clear and runny and um, yeah, more liquidy. So I really like the texture of this one. And then this guy, I really, again, like it's three steps. I love a multi-step beauty product. Some people are like, it's more work. I love it. Like I love, I love stuff that's multi-step. I'm a sucker for it. So the fact that this is three steps makes me really happy. <laughs> um, I put the eye cream on last. There's way too much eye cream in here for your eye area. So I use the rest of the eye cream on my hands and on my neck and decollete and stuff like that. So, um, and you know, as always with all sheet masks, don't forget at the end to squeeze out all the serum. After you pull it out of the package and put the sheet mask on your face, fold your sheet mask pack in half and dump out the remaining serum and put it all over your face again. Or all over the mask that's on your face. Hot tip. Uh, next thing I want to share with you guys, I love this stuff. Okay, so this is J1 Jelly Pack, Red Jelly Pack. I used the original version of this, which is the white one. It's a white bottle. I used the original version of this maybe three, two, three years ago. And I finished that bottle and I loved it. And then like my life went crazy and I totally forgot about it. And um, I have rediscovered it since in the red version, and I love it still, you know what I mean? Um, I don't remember the white one well enough to say whether the white or red is better. I think they work very, very similarly. They're really hydrating and sticky, and they grip your makeup, and they give your skin like a brightening effect. I feel like when I 
wear this underneath my makeup, my skin looks better when I take off my makeup, which is amazing. Like, that's, like, usually after... I feel like if I don't use a primer like this, or or this primer in particular, my skin looks worse after I take off my makeup. So this kind of really kills that and, you know, lets me get my skincare fix while I'm getting my makeup fix, you know what I mean? So, um, love this. And, um, just so you guys know, um, if you guys love Milk Makeup's Hydro Grip Primer, this is basically the better original version. This is the OG. Like, Milk Makeup's Hydro Grip Primer is a knockoff or a dupe, a cheaper dupe of this. Um, I don't know if it's even cheaper because this is only like 20-something bucks. Um, I'm, I'm not sure where the Milk uh, Makeup Hydro Grip Primer stands, but I've tried both, and I like the J1 Jelly Pack so much better than the Milk Hydro Grip. Um, since that is like kind of like skincare and primer, we're moving into makeup next. So I'm going to highlight some of my favorite makeup um, things that I've been using for a really long time. The girl I've been, I've been dating forever, the girl I'm loyal to, this is Pat McGrath's Highlight Stick. And I've been using this since the packaging was different. Like, I've been using this since the packaging used to be all black. I... This is, I think, my fourth or fifth highlight stick from her. Um, the Nude is my favorite color. I've tried the Nude and the Golden. Um, the Nude is my favorite. It's double-ended, so this side is like this shimmery... It's not even like that shimmery. It's like a matte shimmer, if that makes sense. I'm wearing it right now, the highlighter. If you're wondering where my glow is coming from, it's this highlighter. Um... I love this highlighter like it's just it just makes my skin look so flawless when I wear it and especially in photos and stuff it just catches the light really perfectly and then the other end is like a clear gloss bomb which not everyone's into but I love like I love anything that'll give me like a glossy cheek a glossy eye um, I, I love like glossy face highlights and this is really lightweight not sticky but it gives you that high shine still I don't want you guys to think I'm a shill for Pat McGrath but like I love her stuff so the next thing I wanted to highlight is Pat McGrath's lip gloss lust gloss I think it's called um I used to have this problem where I would never finish lip gloss I would always end up throwing away old tubes of lip gloss I would never finish it this is the only lip gloss that I have consistently finished. I've had this in about four different colors. Um, I've finished at least three or four tubes of this already. And I have two more and they're both running really low. So like this is a lip gloss I use consistently. Like I love this stuff. I've been through tubes and tubes and tubes of this like scraping out the bottom and stuff and I always feel so accomplished when I finish like anything like that's that's like a bottle of anything like any skincare if I fi if I finish the whole bottle I'm like yes like it feels so good to me for some reason like not wasting feels really good to me so any product that I can finish and use all the way to the itty bitty end I'm gonna you know, I, I like love you know um okay so I'm gonna be really annoying and do another Pat McGrath product. So <laughs> I love her foundation. I bought this foundation when it first came out, um, like last year, and I ended up returning it to Sephora actually because it oxidized on me. And I I really loved the foundation. It went on really smooth. I love the coverage. Um, I loved everything about it. The texture. But after a few hours, it would just kind of turn this orangish, orangish color, so I had to return it. But it was literally when it first dropped, like the day it was available in stores, I went in and got it. So I recently was looking for foundation, and I thought, you know what, what if they fix the oxidation problem? Because I like read like you know, a lot of beauty blogs and stuff like saying that there was an oxidation issue with the Pat McGrath foundation. So, um, I think they, I was like, what if they fixed it? You know, it was a first run. Sometimes, you know, first runs aren't perfect. 
and sure enough they did fix it it doesn't oxidize on me anymore um i really love the coverage on this it's so lovely like if you are a, a fenty beauty um pro matte filter girl this is not going to be your best friend because the pro matte filter is super pigmented super coverage really you know covers everything um, which I get is totally useful for some people, but the Pat McGrath is super sheer, super lightweight. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I feel like it looks super natural. It's the most like natural looking foundation with the most like perfecting finish that I've tried personally. Um, this is just like my favorite coverage, like that light dewy coverage. I tried the um, hydrating formula of the Fenty Beauty. I didn't like it. It just didn't, it didn't mesh with me. And I used the Pro Matte filter for years for filming and stuff because it's so high coverage. I feel like it's a good, you know, I feel like if you have a lot of imperfections that you really, really need to cover and you need high coverage, the Fenty Beauty is great. But if you, um, like, I feel like this sounds snotty to say it, but this is foundation for girls with good skin. Like, if you have really, you know, like problematic skin, this is not going to be your girl. But I feel like if you, you know, if you re have relatively problem-free skin, and if especially if you take good care of your skin and like, you know, hydrate properly and stuff, this this just looks so good on your skin. Um, yeah, I'm wearing it right now. I feel like it's so lightweight, um, light to medium coverage. I feel like it's really liquidy too. It's not like creamy. Like the consistency is like more of a liquid. I don't know. It's, I love it. I'm going to leave you with this final product that I actually have. I've had this tube for years. I've had this tube for years. And that's probably not good. I should probably throw it out and buy a new one. But I really love this blush. Like I have had it forever. I don't usually wear a lot of blush which is probably why it's lasted me for so so long um i usually don't wear blush but i'm wearing it today she's really really pretty um, um this is glossier cloud paint in puff um you know glossier as a brand doesn't is not like my jam but i think this is a really good product like I've tried Glossier's like skin, I tried their skincare when it first came out, like the serums. I didn't like them. Um, I tried like their, their highlight stick, didn't like it. But this product in particular, the cloud paint, I really, really, really love. Like I, I, I can stand behind this. Like it gives you, it's, it's like a liquid, it's like finger paint kind of. So you just kind of pat it on and it just gives you the loveliest flush and glow and um it's not powdery which is something i hate um it's you know it leaves your skin fresh looking and dewy looking you're not it's not like a powder blush that's gonna leave you looking like cakey at all or anything so um if you want blush that like sits like natural you know on top of your skin this is i i love the glossier cloud paint um i actually have been meaning to get a couple more colors of it yeah, so that's the last thing I wanted to review for you guys. Um, yeah, I hope um, somebody watches this and, you know, tries something that I mentioned and ends up loving it and having it being a game changer for them. I really, really hope that, um, I don't know, that I can be informative and helpful in some way. Um, I've been filming a lot today and I really need to get to editing so I am going to say goodbye bye